Hey, what's up? Jigsaw here. Want to set up a live wallpaper and you're having trouble with the motion not available error on iOS 18? In this video, I'll show you some steps to potentially fix the issue. Let's go. The motion not available error on iPhone live wallpapers can be caused by several factors. First, live wallpapers must be set from a live photo, not a regular one. If the photo you're trying to use is a still image or the live part of it is disabled, the live wallpaper feature won't work. Second, iOS 18 could have a bug or temporary glitch causing the live wallpaper feature to malfunction. Bugs in new iOS versions are common and typically get patched in subsequent updates. Third, live wallpapers require haptic touch or 3D touch on older devices. If these features are turned off or set too high in sensitivity settings, live wallpapers may not work. Sometimes the wallpaper might not be set up correctly. Lastly, if the iPhone is running too many apps or facing performance issues, it might disable certain features like live wallpapers to preserve system resources. Here are some solutions you can try. Ensure your iPhone model is compatible with live wallpaper, as older models might not support this feature. Live wallpapers work on iPhone 6S or later, except for iPhone SE. With other iPhone models, they can be used as static wallpapers. Live wallpapers are supported on all versions of iOS except iOS 16. It is also necessary to set a live photo for live wallpapers. To determine if your photo is a live photo or not, follow these instructions. Go to your photos gallery. Find the photo you want and tap on it. Check if there is a live icon or word. If not, you can select a live photo and try to set it as a live wallpaper. If it is the settings of 3D or haptic touch that make live wallpaper not work, you can solve this problem simply by setting it correctly. Go to the Settings app on your device. Navigate to Accessibility. Then, Touch. Make sure that haptic touch is in default mode. Some live wallpapers might be incompatible with your device or iOS version. So try using a different live wallpaper from the App Store or your photo library. Updates often include bug fixes and improvements that can resolve compatibility issues. To check for a new iOS version, open Settings on your iPhone. Navigate to General, and click on Software Update. If an update is available, tap Download and Install. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the process. Afterwards, your iPhone should restart automatically with the new iOS version installed. Keep in mind that you need enough storage space left and a stable Wi-Fi connection to successfully install an iOS update. A simple restart can often fix temporary glitches. Keep in mind though, that the specific combination of keys required to do this may vary depending on the model of iPhone you have. For iPhones with Face ID such as iPhone 10, iPhone 11, or any newer model, do the following steps. The following procedure also applies for iPhone 8 and iPhone SE. Press and quickly release the volume up and volume down buttons respectively. Then press and hold the side button. Once the Apple logo appears, release the side button and wait for your iPhone to restart. On the other hand, the process is slightly different on the iPhone 7. In this case, you need to press and hold both the volume down and side buttons simultaneously. Continue holding both buttons until the Apple logo appears on the screen. For those with an iPhone 6S or earlier, press and hold both the sleep and home buttons at the same time. Keep holding both buttons and release them when the Apple logo appears. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions about the video or want me to create a tutorial about another topic, leave a comment below. See you next time. Bye.